Hi Aries, I'm Pam, the Lucky Mermaid, Psychic Seer and Modern Mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for February 2022. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in February and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign will, and if you're born on the cusp of your sign, some months your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there, so you might want to check that out. This recording is for Aries Sun, Aries Rising, and Aries Moon. I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot Deck in these readings. Please bear with me. I am still sick. I'm recovering. Uh, I've been sick since January 1st. I'm still not fully back to my normal energy level. So I'm doing my best in these February readings. So please bear with me. Did you see the little face over here? Here's your uh, Aries friend because Max is an Aries born on April 4th. So he's going to be snoring for you Aries in your February reading. So all that being said, Aries, now on to your February 2022 Psychic Tarot reading. And the first card you have, Aries, is the Magician. And this is the card of the Manifestor. What you think about, you bring about. What's in the ethers and in the spiritual plane or in your mind you can manifest into physical reality and you have all the tools in front of you with which to do so. You are going to be very determined and you're going to put your foot down and you are going to be very uh, driven to make certain things happen in February. You've got a lot of brilliant ideas and you really should keep a good record of them and write them down in a journal or on your computer uh, and make sure you keep, you know, get, you're going to have a lot of ideas and inspirations come to you. So make sure you have a notebook somewhere where you can jot these down and refer back to them throughout the month or throughout the year of 2022. Some of you are going to buy something that will be a very big improvement to your life. It could be a new computer. It could be a new home. It could be a new car. It could be something else, some other type of uh, appliance or technology that's going to really be helpful to you. So some of you will be making some big purchase that's going to pay off for you. It'll be a benefit to you. Some of you Aries are going to be very, I don't know if I want to say declarative, but you're going to want people to see you for who you truly are or what you're all about or what you know how to do. Like you're going to be very, like what you see is what you get kind of in energy about you. But it's, it's almost like, some of you Aries may be going out of your way to like prove yourself to either your bosses, your significant other, to friends and family, to clients and customers if you own your own business. Some of you are getting things ready to move. You could be packing boxes. Now this could be moving your residence but it could be moving a business or moving your office. Maybe it's for a company you work for. Maybe everybody's got to move uh, to a new location. And so you have to pack up, everybody has to pack up their own stuff or everybody's helping to pack for the move. So it could be a business company or corporation you work for that's moving and you're getting packing to move, but it could be your own home or it could be, helping your kids even, one of your kids or your, somebody else in your family. You're going to be very like laying down the law, like telling people this is the facts, this is how it's going to be. This could be in a court case, 
This could be in a job or work situation or in a business situation. You could be telling your kids this or other family members or to your significant other. But you're going to be doing a lot of things. Whatever you do in February, Aries, you're doing with a lot of panache, a lot of flair. Like, you're not going to be, like, coming in quietly. No. You're going to be coming in, like, uh, look how fabulous I am. Look how great I look. Or look at, that, look at what I know how to do. Or look at how I can, uh, you know, make this thing work and shine. Like, you're going to be doing things with flair and panache in February. The next card you have is the same card Aquarius got in the very same position. So if you have Aquarius as one of your signs, uh, this could strongly be applying to you. This is dealing with, the, this is justice. It's dealing with court documents, legal papers, lawyers, the court systems, settlements, lawsuits, and if it's not legal, it could be something that was unfair or unjust for you is now going to become fair or just in the month of February. I do see some of you Aries gathering documents, legal documents or papers. I see you gathering together legal documents. You may have to show proof of something. Proof that you paid something. Proof that you, you know, maybe it has to do with child support, alimony, uh, or something else. Maybe it's got to be proof, shows proof of your mortgage payments, your tax payments. Um, I don't know what it is, but getting gathering together documents that would be validation or proving something, proving that you've paid for something or proving that you own something or proving that you did something where you have legal documents to back it up. You may even be going to court over something to prove that something should be reassigned over to you, something maybe that got taken away from you in some way. Uh, it could have to do with property lines. It could have to do with like uh, uh, wills, estates. It could have to do with alimony or child support. You may also have to be showing some kind of documents of what your earnings are. It may have to do with your earnings. You may also, Aries, be looking into something that, to see, to get it fixed, something fixed that was broken, and it could be because you need to, like, maybe there's a warranty, or somebody's response needs to be responsible for fixing something because it's still within the warranty. So it could actually have to do with fixing, getting something fixed that was broken, and you need to prove the documentation of when you bought it, how much you paid for it, what warranties you followed through with on it, that type of thing could be coming up for some of you Aries in February. You may also have to tell somebody that they owe you something that they don't think that they owe you or they are not aware that they owe you and it could be you could be telling a business a corporation it could be a family member it could be somebody that you struck some kind of deal with now the next card you have in your reading is the two of pentacles which is uh this could be weighing your options it could be seeking balance you could be having difficulty in making a choice or a decision between two things it could involve money there's emotions tied up here in whatever this seeking balance, weighing options, or decision that you're making. You may be pondering something where you see both sides of a story and you're trying to figure out where do you where where does your where do your loyalties lie? Or 
where does your belief about something that you're looking at two sides of a story like where does your belief fall where does your loyalties lie you know like where do you hang your hat you may feel like you're dealing with people that are bickering about things that are unnecessary you could be involved in that that could be something you're involved if you're involved in some kind of legal case or issue you may feel like i'm involved in something in some kind of people are bickering with me and it's unnecessary but it could be something you're witnessing in your work in your career in your family in your friendships groups or clubs groups or organizations you're involved in or belong to and you may really feel like you want things to calm down like you don't want this dissension you don't want this unsettled feeling to go on you want it to be settled you want it to be calmed down you want it to get back things to get back to normal you may also be witnessing some things that you feel are improprieties that are either happening out in the world uh, or happening in uh, your personal life. You may see some improprieties happening and you feel like this isn't right. Maybe it's happening at your job even. And because of some upsetment that's going on, you may feel like you want to treat yourself to a spa getaway or some kind of massage or a vacation you may feel like I need to get myself back into balance I need a break from this seesaw that I'm on or that I'm emotionally dealing with this emotional seesaw and you may be really puzzled or about What's driving people to say or do what they're saying or doing? And this could be people you know or even with people you don't know. And you may feel, Aries, like you're really ready for your life to change or a situation or a circumstance in your life to change. Maybe it's your living situation you want it to change or relationships that you're involved in you may feel like you're really ready for it to change or it could be your job or working situation or your business or your career where is it I mean only you are going to know Aries where this applies to you now I just want to say here if you would like to get a continuation or an expansion of this psychic tarot reading it, where I look into the crystal and give you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for the month of February 2022. These videos are on my Vimeo on demand pages, and that link is down below in the description box in the show more section. Well, Max is really snorting it up over here. Um, and if you click on that link, it will take you to those videos on Vimeo for the February Psychic Crystal readings. Or you could go to my website, theluckymermaid.com, go to the videos tab on my menu. And there at the very top, I think it'll be the top heading of that page, you'll see the Psychic Crystal readings for February of 2022. And you can get your sun sign or your rising sign or your moon sign, or you could get all three or somebody else's uh, sign that you love and care about that you want to look into and you just click on that sign whatever sign you want and it will take you to that video on Vimeo so now on to card number four in your February reading and you have the hangman and this is being in limbo not moving forward not moving backward being in a state of suspended animation and having to draw from your own psychic ability and your own intuition when the hangman card shows up this could also be that you're waiting for something also. I feel that some of you Aries are going to feel quite triggered in February by other people's emotions that you're dealing with or that you live with or that are around you. You may be very much trying to remain neutral but that's going to be very difficult for you to do so, especially if there's dissension or arguments or other people around you that are at odds uh, or any situations that are contentious. 
you may really feel like, oh, I don't want to get involved or I want to remain neutral. But that is actually, even though it looks like you're doing it, I feel it's going to be very difficult for you to remain neutral. You may also be questioning in your mind, how do I stand up to people that are pushing your buttons? Who's doing this? Is it your bosses? Is it your significant other? Is it people out in the world? Is it people on a much bigger world stage? I don't know where it's happening, but you may feel like, how do I stand up to these people that you feel are infiltrating your life or disrupting your life or causing you some kind of um, disruption? But your will is very strong, and I do feel that Aries are going to be quite firm about not letting people get the best of them. So that's the wisest course of action for you to take. Don't let people get the best of you in February. And some of you are watching things slowly evolve and change, and you have to wait and see what's the outcome going to be and this could be happening at your job it could be happening at your living situation uh, i don't know where it's happening but some of you there's things that are shifting and changing and evolving around you and you kind of have to wait and see what's going to happen when the dust settles and then you can make some kind of moves or decisions or uh changes that you want to make your dreams are going to be very vivid very informative and very powerful in february so make sure you know you could get a little you could get one of these like a digital voice recorder and uh, or keep a notepad next to your bed and when you wake up i recommend you keeping a, a record or notes about your dreams because they're going to be very helpful and informative to Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign people in the month of February. So you could be getting a lot of insights from your spirit guides or from your subconscious or both, and solutions to problems are going to come to you in your dreams. So the last card you have in your reading for February of 2022 is the Eight of Swords, which is being trapped and bound in, it could be an emotional prison. It could be feeling trapped and bound to a situation. You might not be sure how to get out of it. Uh, there could be some unknown factors here that could be affecting it for you. I feel that some of you Aries are going round and round in circles about what's the best course of action for you to take in something. Some of you may be thinking about leaving a job, leaving a career, or leaving where you're living, or maybe leaving a relationship. And you may feel overwhelmed, like there's too many things that you need to take care of, too many things you need to get in order. You may feel like overwhelmed by things of that nature. You may be questioning a lot about your life or like, where, are, where am I supposed to be? I feel the collective consciousness of Aries saying that. So you may be wondering like, where am I supposed to be? Am I supposed to be living on the East Coast or the West Coast or the mid, or Midwest? Uh, am I supposed to be living on the North or the South? Am I supposed to be... Uh, you know, working in this field? Should I move and shift and change and work in a different field or for a different company or start my own business? Like wor worrying or concerned about where you're supposed to be and not feeling sure about it, like feeling like unsure, like it's a mystery to you in February. You may not have it sorted out. You may also feel like things you've attached yourself to are bringing you down or dragging you down. Now that could be maybe that it's friendships. Maybe there's certain friends you're like, they're too negative. They're bringing me down. They're dragging me down or a, a line of work or career that you're in. You may feel like this isn't the right career for me. This is bringing me down. It's dragging my energy down. I'm working too much. 
uh, things of like that. Like you're going to be taking a hard look at where you're living, who you're associating with, who, who or what is bringing you positive energy and is uplifting to you, and who or what is bringing you down and is dragging you down and overburdening you or giving you too much negative energy. I feel that Aries are going to be taking a long, hard look at this and evaluating these things. And it's not just necessarily Aries sun sign. It could be Aries rising sign people could be doing this or Aries moon sign could strongly be doing this. So, you know, this is why I always say it's wise to watch your rising sign. Really, truly wise to watch it. And you may have, you may be feeling challenged by people's wants or needs that you're attached to in February. Maybe your kids' wants or needs, or your significant other's wants or needs, uh, or your clients or customers' wants or needs, or a combination, or your parents. Uh, you may feel overwhelmed by this, like you're contending with and dealing with so many other people's wants or needs. This could be causing consternation for you, pressure, on you. It could give you a sense of feeling trapped or bound. So the best gemstone crystal for that I got for Aries for February of 2022, your sister sign of Leo also got the same stone, which is amethyst. And amethyst helps with addictions. It enhances the immune system. It improves the endocrine system. It also improves skin appearance and promotes good digestive health. It also helps with reducing headaches, regulation of hormones. It increases spiritual awareness and psychic abilities and positive transformation. It relieves stress and enhances memory. Wow. So just by the things that came up in your uh, tarot reading, I could see why Amethyst would be helpful to you in February. It's going to be helpful for Aries to broaden and expand their mind and their consciousness in February. It's a good stone to motivate you and that will give you the impetus and the push that you need to clean your house or make decisions or to move or to do whatever it is you want to do. It's also a good gemstone for Aries to put them in a positive mindset in February. It's also going to help you have like good laser focus or to point out things in your life that need repair or fixing or change. So it's going to like really sharpen your mind in February. So this does seem like a good gemstone crystal for Aries in the month of February 2022. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And if you like this video, please click like and share it with those with whom you may feel could benefit from my psychic readings. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel and please check to see if you're still subscribed because sometimes I hear from viewers that YouTube has unsubscribed them. And click that notification bell when you do subscribe that way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. Now, if you would like to get some of the special video series I record for my Vimeo on demand pages, where I use a variety of divination tools and focus on very specific topics for each sign of the Zodiac, those links, are, the most recent video series links are posted down below in the description box in the show more section. And these links are also on my website at theluckymermaid.com. Go to the videos page. You can read all the different video series I've recorded, what time frame the predictions go out for, what divination tools I've used. And you click on the zodiac sign you want 
under the heading you want and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. So some of the recent video series links I have below is the Psychic Tarot readings for the new year of 2022 where I used the year ahead tarot layout. There's 14 cards in those readings and they go over 40 minutes long. So you might want to check that out and you might want to watch your rising sign as well as your sun sign. Also, we are still being affected by the recent eclipses, the new moon solar eclipse in Sagittarius in December of 2022. I did a psychic tarot crystal, an oracle card reading for that eclipse. If you didn't check it out yet, you might want to because you are still being affected by that eclipse as well as the full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus, which happened at the end of November of 2021. I used the same format, psychic tarot crystal and oracle card readings. If you haven't checked those readings out, you might want to. That link is also down below in the description box. And my Saturn in Aquarius psychic tarot crystal, uh, psychic tarot and crystal readings, those predictions go all the way out until next year of March of 2023. So you might want to check that out as well. And my career and finance psychic tarot and crystal readings, they go out into this year of, uh, in November of 2022 and my angels ancestors and ascended masters psychic oracle card readings for these changing times many people have found those messages to blow them away don't be thrown that they're oracle cards the angels liked to talk in those readings and you might be surprised about what messages come in for your sun sign rising sign or your moon sign and don't forget the psychic crystal readings for february of 2022 for each sign of the zodiac which is an expansion and a continuation of the psychic tarot readings that i do here for this month of february so if you want to see what my spirit guides had to say for your sun sign or your rising sign or your moon sign or all three that link is also down below in the description box if you would like to help support this channel and make a donation to help the reading help me continue on with this work here that i do on youtube there's a donations link connected to paypal down below all the videos i've described and it like i said it's connected to paypal and a big thank you to those of you who have been very kind and generous and donated to my channel it does help a lot and it does also mean a lot so thank you so much for that if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides that you're not going to see here you can follow me on my social media pages at the lucky mermaid llc on facebook and the lucky mermaid underscore pam Georgel on instagram i use uh usually tarot cards sometimes angel cards or some other oracle cards and occasionally my crystal and the predictions are usually five paragraphs long many people find they resonate with them at least one or two messages in each post i make so you might want to check them out and see if they resonate with you i want to say here i know you guys are sick and tired of me talking about it i'm sorry i have to mention it again there is constantly it's happening daily literally daily on instagram where people are fraudulently uh, cloning my account, pretending to be me, contacting and following my followers, and then soliciting them for readings. This is not me. And you really need to look at the spelling because they're sneaky little buggers where they put like a little dot after the underscore or they misspell my name or they misspell Lucky Mermaid or they misspell something. And you think it's me, but it's not. And I am not able to answer all your emails and DMs. I appreciate you guys trying to let me know, but there's really nothing I can do about it. They block me so I can't see them. And the only way to stop it is if you block them and report them to Instagram. I tried to get my account verified by Instagram two, three months ago. They did nothing. Now I'm going to have to do it and try it again. I don't know why they're not verifying my account. I am a legitimate business. 
and I have the paperwork to prove it. So I don't know why they didn't verify my account. But the best way to stop it is to, number one, if they follow you, if somebody looks like they're me following you, it's not me. Number two, if they ask you if you want a reading, it's not me. I book all my private readings and I can only do very limited number of private readings. I book my private readings from my very long wait list and cancellations list and that those details are on my website at theluckymermaid.com on the scheduling page. You can read all about it. I do not solicit anybody on social media, on Instagram or Facebook for readings. So I don't want to see you get scammed. Uh, and I just know it is not me. Just pay attention to the spelling. They've misspelled something or added a dot or added something at the end. And I really will still pursue trying to get my account verified and hopefully it can stop it. But they have Instagram has not verified my uh, account. I wish they would, but they haven't yet. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. So I hope you have absolutely fantastic energy that comes to you this month of February 2022. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.